So we know historically uh, October, the most volatile month for the market, but also the month that sees that September weakness morph into a launching pad for a year in rally. And it looks like that may be happening this week. I'm going to bring in the market, bro. Scott Martin, Rob Luna. And before we even talk about that, both of you guys are very passionate about getting people into the stock market. And in fact, Rob, I was reading your website today and something struck me. Quote, my mission is to mentor anyone who is willing to build and put in the hard work to secure their own business, invest in their future, for their future. You know, I think that's the biggest hurdle, right? People now, you kind of rely on social media, you get these tips, we used to call them water cooler tips. So it's easy to find stock ideas, but really you gotta put a little bit more elbow grease in there, isn't that true? Yeah, and I mean, that's exactly it, Charles. And especially when you look at our community, being a Cuban-American, yourself, African-American, the numbers are horrible, Charles. Less than 10% of Latinos are invested in the market, 13% of African-Americans. In my academy, minorities represent over 75%. I'm really proud of that. We need to start educating these people. There's a lot of wealth that's being built and created in this market, but people need to get in, but they need to spend the time to do it the right way. Right. It's not on chat boards. It's not reading news clips. It's really understanding how to analyze, manage risk, and invest in good long-term quality companies. And of course, Scott, uh, we've had this record amount of uh, money pour into this market. So these new investors are getting in there. And this is one of the biggest tests the last few weeks for them. What is the, the key thing maybe they should take away from it that they should understand? I, I like the term hard work, Charles. And, and, and Rob's been great at, at that mantra his whole career. And, and the hard work for me working with clients, too, is the emotional aspect. I mean, you talk about the new investors, Charles. Rob talks about some of the minorities that need to trust the system. Um, which, you know, is, is, is hard, number one. But number two, think about your emotions of when you invest. You know, people too many times compare themselves, themselves to other investors. They compare themselves to that, you know, half-brother, half-sister, that half-cousin, <laughs> whoever it is that has that great <laughs> idea or that investment yeah. in oil or cannabis that went crazy. You've got to understand your own psychology when you're going into investing to know what you expect out of it, what you can take both on the upside and downside, and how you're going to deal with it. I got to ask you guys about earnings season. Let's go to next week because we talked a lot about this week. Uh, Squid Game's the hottest thing in the world. Will that make Netflix a buy before the earnings, Scott? Would you be in this stock? We already own it, man. And I got chastised and raked over the coals in May when we took it out of our managed uh, stock portfolios in favor of Amazon. So we took out Amazon, which was taboo to ever sell, and bought Netflix. Um, let's look at the chart. That was actually a pretty good move. You know what's funny, too? I don't like Squid Games. I know I'm getting a ton of hate mail about it. I don't think it's that good, but I think a lot of their other content is good, Charles. Their sub numbers should look pretty good this past quarter. And so I like Netflix here going forward, especially into Q4. Rob, do, are you, are you, would you be a buyer or owner? And if not, what do you like right now, uh, Rob? What's a, a fresh idea since we spoke last? Yeah, I mean, I think Scott's a better stock picker than he is a media critic. I think that's a great game. I've been, I mean, great show. Come on. I've been binge watching it for the last week. You know, I think, you know, look, the Fang's reporting next week. All of these companies are good long-term holds, not trading around them. What I wanted to bring, though, I knew I was coming up against some heat with the market bros. I wanted to bring a fresh idea. That idea today is Symbol Tiger, T-I-G-R. It's up fintech. Look, there's some controversy surrounding this. It's a Chinese-based company, right. a lot of online brokerage, fintech. Right. Take a look at this, though. A big move into the U.S. Stock's down 30% right. in the last five okay. days. Take a look at I've it. I've got an admission. I'm in it with my subscribers, and we are getting shellacked. So I'm so happy someone else is getting in there. <laughs> All right. I, and by the way, another admission. I'm with you, Scott. I watched half an episode of Squid Games. I say people may love it. I'm going to give it another shot over the weekend. And I do like Netflix. <laughs> Guys, have a great weekend. All right, let's claim it.